Time was that great opportunities came to me. But first I needed to prepare for the greatness that awaited me. So I asked and became a Freemason. The rest is history. For me, the time has passed. For you, time is. Time to prepare for greatness if it's in you. Now you may listen to me or not, but Freemasonry has been preparing great men since our country's founding. So do you have greatness in you? Ask at askafreemason.org. Lucifer, what is your problem? Just that, sir. Okay. I'm a Christian, sir. I'm pure and virtuous and wholesome and innocent. How can you say anything about it about me? Sir, you need to be born again. Is I that, am born again. Is that, now, did you just say that you are Lucifer? I am Lucifer. Okay, define Lucifer for me. Pure, virtuous, wholesome, innocent individual that's out to help people. Lucifer is? Yeah. Lu mm -hmm. Say that again. Lucifer is a pure, holy... Virtuous. Virtuous. Now, see the Lucifer that God created? That's the same one. Oh, man, this is great. I'm going to put this on the Internet. Oh, Amen. God bless you, Amen. brother. Because that's exactly what the Shriners and Masons teach, is that Lucifer, Lucifer is light. to share a revelation that I've had during my time here. It came to me when I tried to classify your species. I realized that you're not actually mammals. Every mammal on this planet instinctively develops a natural equilibrium with the surrounding environment, but you humans do not. You move to an area and you multiply and multiply until every natural resource is consumed. And the only way you can survive is to spread to another area. There is another organism on this planet that follows the same pattern. Do you know what it is? A virus. The human beings are a disease, a cancer of this planet. You are a plague. This is Walmart. This is China. Most of the goods on Walmart shelves come from China. So when you shop at Walmart, your money and a lot of American jobs go to China. 
This is Afghanistan. China ships weapons to the terrorists in Afghanistan. Weapons the terrorists use to attack our troops. So before you shop at Walmart, think about that. This July 4th, be a patriot. Go to wakeupwalmart.com and learn the truth about what Walmart is doing. The baboons always have a secret supply of water, and they're not going to tell anybody where it is. And when a Mahalakhari ventures into the deep Kalahari on a hunting trip, he has to find water, because unlike the Bushman, he doesn't know how to make liquid from a root. But he has his own way of finding out where the water is. First, he laboriously drills a hole in a giant ant heap when he is sure a baboon is watching him because he knows baboons are incurably inquisitive. Next, he puts some wild melon seeds into the hole and works them in so that they drop into a hollow. Then he saunters off knowing the baboon is burning with curiosity. The baboon doesn't trust that human being at all, so he plays it cool but he's dying to know what gives in that confounded hole. Finally, Mr. Inquisitive can't take it any longer. He's got to know what's in there. He reaches in, grabs a fistful, and now his hand's too big to come out. If he had the sense to drop the seed, he could free his hand. Now he lets go when it's too late. So that was a smart enough way to catch a baboon, but he still has to make him talk. Now he knows that salt is very scarce in this particular area, and that baboon is going to eat those lumps like candy. In fact, he has such a ball eating salt that he completely forgets he's under arrest and that in a little while, he's going to be a mighty thirsty baboon. Next morning, the Mahalakhadi goes to have a closer look to see whether his prisoner is ready to talk. He decides the brainwashing has worked, so he sets him free, knowing that in his condition, he won't care who follows him to the secret reservoir. Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. We decided long ago that the dangers of excessive and unwarranted concealment of pertinent facts far outweighed the dangers which are cited to justify it. Even today, there is little value in opposing the threat of a closed society by imitating its arbitrary restrictions. Even today, there is little value in ensuring the survival of our nation if our traditions do not survive with it. And there is very grave danger that an announced need for increased security will be seized upon by those anxious to expand its meaning to the very limits of official censorship and concealment. That I do not... Hello, YouTube. Uh, Kid Jr. here. I just wanted to share something with you guys. I, uh... I've seen this. It's in, it's in the Vindicator newspaper out of Youngstown, Ohio. Um, it caught my eye.